Hi everyone, this is Obapa. Today I'm going to share with you how to make gel cleanser. This gel cleanser bubbles very well and remove dirt from your face too. You are all welcome back to my YouTube channel. First, let's start with our main ingredient. We are going to use carrot. Carrot is very good for the skin. It contains beta carotene vitamin C. And carrot also can brighten your skin tone very well or even your skin tone well. So let's start making our carrot juice. So you are going to cut all your carrot into smaller pieces. This is a requested video. It was requested by asantua you asked me to make a fruit or a vegetable gel cleanser and this is the cleanser that i'm making for you i rather i'm using vegetable that's carrot so you wash and cut your carrot into smaller sizes so that you can blend it very well i did a video on it that i used kakumba to make the video for the gel cleanser but I deleted all the video from my camera. I mistakenly deleted it and I was so sad because I deleted almost four of my video, different recipe videos. I don't know what happened. Then I go and just click delete. So I was very sad. So the next day I have to make another one and I don't have kakumba available. I only have the carrot available and I have been using carrot in most of my product that soups and lotions so what you are going to do is when you put your carrot into your food blender you add a little bit of water to it then you blend very well make sure that you break down all the fiber so you blend very well because without the water it's not going to blend very you find it very difficult to blend it so what we are going to do next is using a strainer to strain the plumb of the carrot from the liquid and we will strain it for the second time if you have a juicer machine you can use it i have one but i wanted to show my subscribers how you can use your food blender to blend it because most of us don't have that juicer machine but if you have it that's the easiest way to go so carrots help recover faster from rashes and eczema so if you have rashes on your skin or your face and you use carrot product is going to help you recover from it carrot too can brighten your skin tone very well or if you have sensitive skin this is the best gel cleanser for you to use on your face please watch the video to the end because i'm going to answer some questions for one of my subscribers as i do every week now so make sure that you juice everything yeah we need the juice we really need the juice i love using uh, vegetables and fruits in my product because it works very well if you know how to use them you are going to achieve better results from them because most time vegetables and fruit contain a lot of vitamins and antioxidant that's very good for the skin so next you use a cheat cloth or a paper towel a clean paper towel to strain it as i'm using a paper towel to strain mine because i don't have a cheese cloth available so it takes time it can take you 15 to 20 minutes for you to get the water out from the plump so it took me i think 15 minutes before i, I got everything and please don't forget to subscribe 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 and watch my video to the end because the more you watch the more it push me to make more video for you when you don't watch my videos i don't feel like spending time to make videos for you so please do watch my video and share my videos too please so after you are done straining the color juice measure the quantity you need for this recipe so you measure the quantity you need for this recipe and this is how much quantity i need i will leave the recipe measurement down in the description box so that you can look at it and make yours so next you need a dysteric water most people ask me i don't have dysteric water when you don't have dysteric water always boil your water before you use it in your skincare product you also need zantangam this is the uh, product that is going to help the 
cleanser to gel so it's a gelling powder you also need castor liquid soap so you need a clear liquid soap that castor soap if you have cocoa betaine too it's going to work very well also you need vegetable gasoline and you know vegetable gasoline too is, is also good for the skin it's moisturize the skin very well and you need preservative so that we can keep our product for a longer period if you want to double the recipe you can double it normally i make it small quantity because i'm not selling it i'm just teaching you how to make it so i can make it a large quantity you need lemongrass essential oil or you need any essential oil of your choice or fragrant oil i choose to use essential oil because of the benefit that my skin is going to get so you add your zanz tam gum to your vegetable gasoline and let it sit for 10 minutes or more so that it can be very easy for you to mix them together because when you are mixing zantam gum it's very difficult to mix together so you add your carrots and your distilled water into a glass bowl or a mixing cup any of them you add them together so next what we are going to do is to start mixing our zantam gum in our gasoline it take time it can take you more than 20 minutes to get a smooth free lamp gel because it really take time so be patient and mix it together please be patient this work all you need is patient if you don't have patience, you cannot achieve what you want the products you want so mix until you reach a smooth consistency so this is called gelling mixture so now you can see even though it's very small and very light it's still going to take in our product to gel so you combine the xanthan gum gel to the liquid so we are going to mix it very well it takes time but be patient you are going to love this gel cleanser you are going to love it it smells so good and also remove that from the skin very well the same time is going to brighten your skin tone if you have blemishes it's going to help clear it if you keep continuing using it so you stir the mixture very well because we want everything to mix very well which is going to take time so keep mixing one thing about gel cleanser is that it's very good for dry skin and sensitive skin those who have that type of skin it's really work good for you because it's really moisturized in the same times help remove the dirt and everything without feeling any uh, pain or irritation so next we are going to add our castor soap that's castor liquid soap you want a clear one because we don't want our gel to look cloudy we want that carrot look so you want a gel like a clear one so you keep mixing it gently and slowly so that we don't get a lot of bubble on top of our soap next we are going to add our lemongrass essential oil i love lemongrass essential oil a lot because it really calm you down too and it smells very good that's how i like it so you keep mixing it too but you can use any essential oil of your choice if you don't like essential oil you can use fragrant oil so add your gemma plus preservative you can use any preservative of your choice this is a preservative i'm using so when you use fragrant oil in your products you are not going to get any benefit from the fragrant oil the only thing you are going to get is having a nice smell so if you can and you want a lot of benefits in your skincare product try and use essential oil but you know essential oil too is very expensive so we are almost done what you are going to do is to transfer it into your bottle so let me answer this question for frida you ask how do i sanitize my equipment what i do is i boil water then i add three tablespoons of bleach to it that bridge to it then i add all my equipment in it to let it sit for some time for 20 minutes or when the water cool down after that i remove them and then rinse it and wipe it with a clean paper towel before i use it my countertop too i use warm soapy water to clean the countertop and wipe with a clean water before i use paper towel and rubbing alcohol to spray it and wipe it this is how to use this gel cleanser you squeeze a little bit into your hand working it into your skin on your face 
you let it sit for two minutes then you rinse it off with running water this is how the soap bubble is bubble very well please don't forget to send in your questions Thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe like my videos share my video and click on the notification bell bye bye